get started. Welcome and good afternoon. Thank you all for joining the WinCom Fiber Solutions, unveiling cutting edge connectivity. We are looking forward to an engaging conversation today on maximizing your network expansion with WinCom's strategies, unveiling the limitless potential of fiber connectivity. Here to present from WinCom Technologies is Alex Cernick. If anyone has any questions throughout the presentation, feel free to add them into the chat and they'll be addressed at the end of the webinar. Alex, you're up. Thank you, Dawn. Appreciate the uh, introduction. And thank you, everyone, for taking time out of your schedule. Uh, again, my name is Alex Cernick. I'm the Product Fiber Manager at Wincom Technologies. Uh, kicking this off, um, the presentation labeled Wincom Fiber Solutions Unveiling Cutting Edge Connectivity. Uh, so I, I guess uh, we'll start with an introduction. So Wincom serves as a value-added distributor, now dedicated to guiding you through consultation aimed at facilitating expansion, upgrade, and maintenance of your fiber optic network. Now, whether that's new or pre-existing. Now, we have over 28 years of experience. Our expertise extends to comprehensive services, including consultation, training, engineering support, and product assistance. Partnering with industry front runners like Nokia and Cambium Networks, Along with AFL, Lightlinks, Superior Essex, and Primus, we deliver holistic eco center solutions encompassing both active and passive fiber solutions. So, as a uh, overview, simplistically, fiber can be complicated. In today's presentation, I'll provide a comprehensive overview of the applications the cutting edge technologies and the architectures associated to XGS PON and fiber to the home solutions. Additionally, I'll showcase our active fiber product lineup, emphasizing the breadth of solutions we offer. I'll also showcase our passive fiber solutions, encompassing bulk fiber, cable assemblies, cable management systems, fiber optic connectivity, test and inspection tools, and fusion splicing. Finally, I'll explore Wincom's bead program, spotlighting how we can support you through design, grant writing, professional engineering services, financial assistance, logistics, and consultation. Whether you're seeking grants for upcoming projects or expanding your private network, Wincom has witnessed growth across various business models. PON networks have consistently delivered stable revenue streams to our customers, offering scalable to meet future user demands and retaining value over decades. The accompanied chart depicts customer verticals and governmental initiatives that have spurred demand. And again, as you can see on the right-hand side, one of the, the bigger leader right now is the middle mile, the RDOF, and, and the BEAD grants for Buy America. Fiber optic networks serve as a conduit for internet connectivity to your doorstep. Every fiber optic network comprises of three key components, fiber cabling, optical line terminals or OLTs, optical network terminals or ONTs. Now the OLT manages the upstream and downstream flow of information. Now with varying power capabilities that can transmit fiber signals over hundreds of miles, Positioned at the residence, serving as the endpoint of the fiber optic network, optical network terminals, or ONTs. These devices come in various forms, such as single family units, multiple dwelling units, or multi tenant units. Now, connecting these components are outdoor fiber optic cables, terminal splicers, cable management systems, and much more. Now, protecting your broadband investment presented is a complementation of available technologies alongside their respective capacities. GPON, initially introduced, provides capacities up to one gigabit per second. Now, presently, many customers are considering XGS PON solutions, which offer speeds up to 10 gigabits per second. And that represents the updated technology. Now, lately or lastly, 
um, 25G Pawn has become available. Now, its application we've seen is primarily focused at carriers, tier one, tier two, and stadiums at 25 gigabits per second. Nokia's portfolio. So presented here is an overview of Nokia's XGS Pawn portfolio solution. Now this is compliant with BABA standards, which makes it eligible for BEAD. Nokia provides a range of devices, including edge, aggregation, fiber access, and home devices. They harness cutting edge technologies, Nokia's product enhanced performance, they're cost effective, and they're extremely flexible. Now for further inquiries on how Nokia's XGS solution can enhance your network, please signify your interest at the end of this presentation and then we can provide more context or a consultative view of what you're looking for. Cambium Networks possesses the capabilities to utilize hybrid fixed wireless and fiber network solutions through their latest comprehensive units. And it's a combination device of GPON and XGSPON. So they've combined those technologies. Now this integrated solution merges fiber with licensed and unlicensed, as well as Wi-Fi, and they tie this entirely into their network management system. With over 28 years of experience serving global markets, Wincom has excelled at designing, engineering, supplying, and distributing fixed wireless access products worldwide. With a very diverse customer base, Wincom has now broadened its range of product solutions to include bulk fiber and fiber accessories. Through partnerships with strategic industry suppliers, Wincom is equipped to meet bead or BABA requirements for cables and enclosures while offering a wide variety of cost-effective and reliable solutions across the other product categories. Our featured suppliers, as you'll see here, are Lightlinks, AFL, Superior Essex, and Primus Cable. And you'll see them categorized into different subsections as we continue through this presentation. So in this, in this presentation, I aim to showcase the extensive range and versatility of our fiber eco center solutions from indoor to outdoor, encompassing aerial or burial fiber cable options. Our offerings cover every aspect of fiber connectivity. Additionally, we provide a comprehensive selection of distribution accessories tailored to meet various installation requirements. Our demarcation solutions ensure seamless integration and management of fiber networks at critical points. Furthermore, we offer high quality cable assemblies crafted to deliver reliable performance in diverse applications. Now to ensure the integrity and efficiency of your fiber infrastructure, we also provide state-of-the-art test and inspection equipment, enabling quality assurance at every step of your deployment. Following this presentation, we'll share a comprehensive chart offering a detailed overview of our portfolio. And that will be a variation of what you're seeing in front of you. Now from bulk cables, including indoor, indoor, outdoor, and outdoor cables, suitable for either aerial, burial, or duct deployments to a wide range of cable assemblies available in both single mode or multi-mode variants. Our portfolio caters to a diverse installation requirements and network configurations. Now, in addition to our fiber cables and assemblies, our portfolio encompasses a variety of demarcation solutions and splice enclosures designed to facilitate efficient network deployment and management. These solutions ensure clear de delineation points within the network and enable seamless integration of fiber infrastructure components. Our offering also extends diffusion splicing equipment and accessories essential for achieving reliable and durable fiber connections. With our fusion splicing solution, say that three times fast, you can ensure precise and secure vision joints, minimizing signal loss and optimizing the network performance. 
Now, moreover, we can provide a comprehensive range of test equipment and accessories to support quality assurance and validation of your fiber network installation. Some examples could be optical power meters, light sources, OTDRs, inspection probes, and our goal here is to provide equipment that enables accurate measurement and assessment of the network's performance. Wincom's fiber portfolio encompasses a comprehensive range of solutions tailored to meet the diverse needs of your modern network. Components and cable characteristics. So fiber, as I said before, can be complicated. There are multiple options available to you based on your solution types. Working together, we can help determine the right cable characteristics needed for your applications. From materials, it could be single mode or multi-mode cables. The outer jacket material can either be PVC or LSZH. From a tube perspective, it can either be tight buffered or loose tube, or if it needs to be rodent protected or crust resistant, we can find the right cable variation. From a central strength member, we'll ascertain if that cable needs to have reinforced plastic, what your fiber count needs to look like from 24 to 48 to 72 to 96 to 144. Does it require water blocking or some barrier to prevent moisture? Does the cable need a ripcord or some type of tone wire for tracing? So again, working with our experienced team, we can help specify the right variation of cable. Indoor fiber optic cables are installed within buildings and primary serve indoor cabling needs. Now they facilitate connections between communication equipment like switches or end user devices within a building. If I had to categorize them, I would say they fall in the following areas. Indoor flexible fiber optic cable, indoor multi-core multi -core cables. An example there could be like a breakout cable or um, a bundle cable or mini cables fall within this. Drop cable variants um, or bow type cables fall in this, um, this category. And then there's other specialized cables like optical ribbon or central tube drop cables. Here I wanted to specify some variations as well. Um, type buffered is very common and the application associated to this is indoor fiber optic cables. It could be for pigtails or, or patch cords, um, simplex fiber, now, this is a, a single tightly sheared fiber, um, a layer of yarn uh, application is, again, patch cords, pigtails, indoor wiring equipment for interconnection, duplex indoor cables. Um, those are duplex fiber optic patch cords or pigtails. It could also be used for wiring or interconnect, fiber distribution cables, and then again, ribbons. So simplex, duplex, quad optical fiber interconnect cables are commonly utilized for patch cords and interbuilding installations, as I referenced on the previous slide. Engineered by Superior Essex, one of our premier uh, suppliers, these cables are designed to meet demands of environments requiring small size, flexible construction, and flame resistance. Um, they are also BABA certified. So again, for, for bead applications that require indoor cable, Superior Essex has a, a multitude of lines that will support um, your application needs. Now they're available in both riser or plenum versions. They're suitable for various applications like cross connect, communication closets, wall outlets, drop ceilings, or plenum airspace installations. They can be configured um, with either buffer or optical, uh, as a surround with a, like a, a, a yarn, or it could be flame resistant. Their indoor outdoor loose tube um, is a dry block, sunlight resistant cable. It's a very small form factor for cable premise. Um, and we typically see that in applications where it's open spaces or trade conduits or interducts. 
uh, steam tunnels um, has been uh, one of the last applications I did. Um, indoor, outdoor loose tube armored. So again, this is sunlight resistant as well. However, the variation uh, includes armor that provides a very small form factor, provides water blocking, and is also suitable for interdox trenches um, and direct burial. And the single unit distribution that Superior Essex provides, that's a distribution cable. It's a single unit, single jacket, and it can have a fiber count rating from six to 24. And we see that in behind the shelf connections and conduit pathways. So outdoor fiber optic cables. So here I wanted to provide um, an application overview for fiber cables to uh, FTTX. Now, traditionally as an outdoor cable, it's a single mode cable um, that are being used. It could be used as a feeder cable and, and that's the main cable being routed through a, popula a population area. Um, it can range from anywhere to 72 to 1700 plus strands. You can have distribution cables and that's the link between a feeder cable and a drop. You have drop cables that fall within this category and they're traditionally used for aerial or direct burial. Um, and then you have your duct installations and fiber strands there range anywhere between one to 12 strands. So aerial deployments for fiber optic cables typically employ two main placement methods. You have your ADSS cable, and that uh, stands for all dialect self-supporting, and you have your lash cable. ADSS is designed for aerial deployments without the need for a messenger wire. So it makes it suitable for use in distribution and high voltage transmission lines. Now, on the other hand, lash cable is used for both underground, underground and aerial deployments. And it has a, a messenger wire that is associated to it. Now, while it offers the lowest cost option, it's the most vulnerable to damage. And that can be from rodents, that can be from crushing, or it could be from cuts. Now, in contrast, buried fiber deployments are protected from weather and damage as they're buried below a freezing point in the ground. This enhances the reliability, however, compared to aerial, particularly in areas experiencing extreme weather, bearing fiber cables in the ground it could be costly. Now, unforeseen obstacles like tree roots um, can increase cost time associated to the project. Uh, repairing damage from bearing cables is also a challenge. But I, I think a big application here would be, do you have access um, for an aerial, aerial perspective? Do you have access to the, uh, the poles? Or is a barrel or conduit application, um, does that make more financial sense? So Light Links is one of our newest vendor additions. They specialize in WISP-friendly uh, fiber. Uh, this is not only cost-effective, but it's extremely reliable. Light Links offers air-blown microcable. They have ADSS cable, anti-rodent, armored, which could be either single or dual jacket, bend-resistant drop cable, and flat drop cable. AFL another one of our strategic manufacturers, who is also BABA compliant, offers MicroCore product family, and that's perfect for FTTX, MicroDuck, long haul applications. Now, their fiber counts can range anywhere between 12 and 432, and these cables can be supplied in all dialect, in MicroCore with tone wire, heavy duty for aerial lashing, and MicroCore with power conductors. From a cable assembly perspective, Wincom provides a wide range of indoor optic cables, including patch cables, pigtails, and trunk cables. And they're designed to meet various connectivity needs. These cables come in different fiber types. It could be single mode, it can be multi-mode, and they offer a plethora of connector options, polishes, and lengths to accommodate any or all of your requirements. Now, indoor patch cables, these are cables used for short distances, 
uh, connecting indoor environments, various lengths, um, but they're traditionally LC, SC, ST, or MPT connectors, and they use a polish of either UPC or APC based on application. Indoor pigtails, they're pre-terminated fiber optic cables. They usually have a single connector on the end or a unterminated fiber on the other. They're commonly used for splicing other connectors from other solutions together. Uh, indoor distribution frames and closures can be an example of some of these applications. We've got a wide range of indoor pigtails with different fiber counts. Um, most of these are stocked in the United States as well. Now, indoor trunk cables, their trunk cables are pre-terminated, they're multi-fiber, and they're used for high-density interconnect applications, usually at data centers or telecom facilities or enterprise networks. Now, our indoor trunk cables, they're, very, they're available in various, um, again, fiber counts, lengths, connector types, and the goal there is to provide flexibility and scalability to whatever your needs or upgrade requirements look like. In addition to offering a comprehensive selection of indoor fiber optic cables, we also provide customization options, technical support, consulting services to help you design, deploy fiber optic solutions tailored to whatever your needs are. Fiber optic connectors. So we are showing two different variations here. Uh, of connectors. Now, both of these are from uh, a company called AFL. And we offer a fast connect, uh, which is a field installable connector. It's pre polished, it's pre cleaved, it's field installable, and it can be either single mode or multi mode. And we have all the primary fiber or strand types. Um, they also can be color coded and extremely easy to use. On the left hand side, is AFL's fuse connections. Um, they are splice requirement of to terminate. They include a factory pre-polish, but again, for this, you need a fusion splicer in the field. We have a host of cable management systems. There is too many to list, so I just wanted to showcase um, two different suppliers, and we'll go over that at, at a 40,000 foot overview. From Lightlinx Cable, we offer uh, three different variations of solutions. Uh, the first one on the left-hand side is a single-ended IP68 rated sealed enclosure. This is an outdoor cable management system. It's gel-free, it's a splice enclosure, um, which you leverage um, based on a, a dome-based clamping system. Um, they have aerial terminals, so these are really easy to set up and to install. It supports up to 12 different connectors. It's a single fire drop assembly port um, and ports are conveniently labeled. And then they have a series of fiber distribution hubs. And there's several different variations to size, scope, connector types, um, but through light links, we do have a host of solutions. And this product line will be BABA compliant on the enclosures. So again, for bead funding, um, enclosures would be eligible under the uh, Buy American rules. From AFL, they also have a host of fiber management systems. Um, what you see under the splice closures, their Apex is their primary line. Uh, this is a optic splice closure. They have a light guard system. They have some aerial products uh, along with um, some barrel products as well. And then a host of other enclosures very similar to, to what we saw on the previous slide. And again, variation would be size uh, and splice count. Through AFL, it also gives us access to fiber tools. And this is test and inspection products. So this could be optical domain products. It could be certification testers, power meters and light source kits, fiber identifiers, connector inspections, test accessories, attenuators. So again, everything you need to test your fiber optic network or anything you need to prepare for your, your upcoming fiber build. 
they also have four different fusion splicing options and it's core and there's active cladding alignment splice systems. Um, but again, uh, the key here is based on what cable types you're looking to splice with your field connectors, we have uh, a variation that, that would work for any of your applications, single mode or multi-mode or single strand or multi-strand. Again, there, there is um, four different options that we can certainly walk through with you. That provides a 40,000 foot overview of our fiber portfolio. Um, but I wanted to conclude this presentation with some of our capabilities and how we can help in regards to bead. And we're getting, we're getting a lot of requests from customers who are looking to build out their, their networks. So their future expansion plan um, on their offensive strategies includes how do I ascertain if my area is served or underserved? How do I build out a comprehensive solution? How do I take that solution and then encompass it with a grant writing service? What do I need from an engineering perspective? So I'll answer some of those questions here. So what you see in front of you is three different images I've pulled from our fiber strategy toolkit. So this is a software service that we offer. It's a comprehensive tool suite. It's a pre-engineering tool. It operates at a hexagon level. It leverages the latest FCC information. Um, it updates every three months. So it's pulling a lot of that information from the FCC and TA and some of the cost quest information. But it gives us it gives us its fiber data sets detailing service presence, depth, speeds, available networks that are currently implemented. And then it will even give us the ability to ascertain how many subscribers per hexagon area, and then what are some associated costs for a fiber build out based on those corresponding locations. So it's a great pre-planning tool that can help us or help you as you're starting to build out your fiber networks and as you're looking into what areas to expand as part of your bead strategy. And just a quick timeline. Um, most states are in the process of their volume twos. Louisiana is the only one to finish their volume two and to go through their challenge process. But we can certainly sit with you through a consultative service, let you know where you are within your state in regards to a timeline. And then we, again, as I mentioned previously through our value added services, we can help you plan and execute your expansion plans for your networks. This is an example of a uh, landing page. So this is our bead portal. Um, a lot of things going on and unfortunately, we don't have time for me to walk through this, but again, we can schedule a time to go through individually. On the right-hand side of the form would be bead overview, which would be all the documentation, um, all the waivers, all the FAQs associated to that. So our bead strategy is twofold. One is to identify EcoCenter vendor partners for active fiber, for passive fiber, and for fixed wireless that meet BEADS requirement. So for fiber or enclosures or for your active fiber like OLTs, um, they have to be built in America. 55% uh, of components drive their cost have to be allocated from here. However, electronics, which would be your, your fixed wireless access, along with some of the other inf uh, infrastructure uh, accessories, fall under a different rule where they can be sourced uh, internationally with the exception of China. So the first part of our strategy is, again, identifying that right vendor mix. And then the other aspect of this, or the other side of the coin, is offering enhanced services. And that can be our professional engineering service, which I'll talk a little bit more about in a second, our grant writing services, and then our financial suite of services as well. Um, before I move on, uh, this website will also identify state funding. Um, states listed alphabetical, all 50 states are listed there. It gives what the uh, grant allocation was based on the five-year plan. Um, it'll tell you what your timeline is. So where are we? Um, 
what most things are happening next are volume twos and challenge processes. Then there will be a pre-registration. And then after pre-registration, the bids will be due. So we can help set that right expectation. That way you're on time for your build out. Um, and then we also include documentation. So if you didn't have access to the volume one or volume two or five-year plan, all that is listed in, in this website. Uh, again, one central point, um, and then we'll reach out um, as an action item to this webinar with the, the, the URL for registration. And it's really easy, username, password, and it gives you complete access. And this is a value add that Wincom offers. From a grant writing perspective, um, to simplify this, we work with you throughout the entire process. We help you with a financial audit. We'll collect all the information um, based on what was communicated from Louisiana. We built out a, a five-page checklist, which will go through financial, through engineering, uh, for pre-registration. It'll pull together everything you need to submit the application. We'll submit the application on your behalf. We'll answer any questions that may come up. Um, and then we even have a post-award compliancy piece to this to make sure that as you win, money doesn't get clawed back. To give an overview of some timelines, usually this is a six to eight week process once you press go. Um, fairly quick for onboarding, the, the meat of this is the processing the application and then the, the audit that happens. Um, where we check through everything, help derive the right narrative and submit the information for you. From a professional engineering perspective, uh, this gives us, lack of a better word, a force, a force multiplier. We can put boots on the ground in 50 states. We can do PE stamp drawings, which is a prereq for the B program. Um, but as that force multiplier, it gives me over 100 design engineers, poll techs, um, project managers, so we can help you with high level or low level fiber designs. Um, we can help with scoping and high level identifications. We can do field surveys, uh, surveys and site walks. We can help provide detailed network designs, review permitting. And again, there's a project management that's associated to this as well. So again, all of these are inherent value added services that we do offer um, to help simplify that beat experience. And then again, we tie this into a financial service. So grant writing and professional engineering have a cost. Um, we're able to lease them over three years to help decrease the burden of CapEx cost. Um, there is also a match requirement of 25% with BEAD. And for prepayment, it actually decreases that 25%. So leveraging our partner LEAF, we can carry that over a five-year period helping you give uh, essentially another lever to be able to position this. And again, there are a lot of fiber funding programs that are happening right now. Um, between ARDOF, Middle Mile Backhaul, Capital Projects Fund, BEAD. So no matter what you're applying for your application, please take from this call, we can help you on the active side of the house with Nokia, Cambium. We can help you on the passive side with a variation of different fiber solutions based on if it has to be by America or if it needs to be cost competitive, we've got a way to provide a, a good, better, best variation to this. Um, again, we'll provide some context after this. Uh, one will be our landing page, which has a nice tool where you can kind of go through individual SKUs. Uh, it will provide the, the I think was the third slide where it was an overview of the different categorizations. But please reach out if you've got opportunities with either fiber, if you've got questions or are looking to apply to BEAD. Our goal is to be here with you uh, every step of the way. Um, now, let me see if I don't see any, any questions. Um, so again, I will, I will provide my information uh, at the end of this with that documentation. I certainly appreciate everyone's time and I look forward to, to having a conversation of how we can be of assistance. Thank you and have a good day.